Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to Earl Sports Bets. Uh, and we have another college basketball slate for you guys today. Uh, quickly, we're going to go over yesterday's slate, which could have been so much better, uh, but we came up short on a couple games. We came up one point short on Loyola, minus four. We came up three and a half points short on Southern Utah, minus ten and a half. But we did get wins from our two dog money lines of Kansas and Seton Hall. And we also got the win from Oregon, minus seven and a half. We went three and two yesterday, and we are now 79 and 62 in video picks, hitting at 56%. So we are still absolutely killing it here in college basketball. So let's get right into today's slate. Uh, let's see where we're starting at five o'clock, uh, four o'clock games. We are starting with our first money line pick of the day. We have three money line, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine picks against the spread. Today is a great slate, plenty of value. So let's hop right into it. We're looking at Fairfield taking on Niagara. Five point spread, minus 190 plus run, uh, run back of plus 165 for Fair, Fairfield. And we are taking Niagara, minus 190 on the money line. Uh, they're projected to win by seven and a half points. It's just not enough to bet them on the minus five, but I am totally okay with laying the minus 190. For a line, that should be way higher. Next, we have BYU and San Diego State. Seven point spread. Um, let me readjust that there. Add them at seven and a half. Seven point spread. Uh, minus 350, run back of plus 250 for BYU. And we are looking to take BYU with the plus seven here. My model has San Diego State winning by 2.4 points, which creates 4.6 points of value on that line for BYU. So we are looking to take BYU with the plus seven versus San Diego State. All right, and our next game is the one right below it. You have St. Peter's taking on Mammoth, and it's a one-point spread, minus 120, plus 100 run back. And I was first looking at Mammoth plus one, plus one and a half. I had it originally for the spread, but we're going to go over to the money line now for the plus 100. I just don't think betting plus ones are really worth the five cents there. But uh, I'm going to be taking Mammoth plus 100 to beat St. Peter's today. Um, should be a good close game. And all we need is a win from Mammoth there to cash a plus money tag. All right. And the next game is also right below it. We have Howard taking on Hampton. Two point spread. We do not have a money line for this, but that is okay because we are looking to take Howard. Minus two, uh, my model has them winning by 7.4 points, creating 5.4 points of value on that line. So definitely a good amount of value there uh, to, to, uh, for us to take Howard today. Minus two and Hampton. Next is the game right below it. Uh, we have SIU Edwardsville taking on Moorhead State here at six o'clock. Five and a half point spread. Minus 225, run back of plus 195 for SIU. And we are looking to take Edwardsville here, plus the 5.5. My model has um, Moorhead State winning by 1.5 points, um, which creates 4 points of value on this line. It's the bare minimum for value. Uh, if it was any lower, we wouldn't be betting this. So... This is the lowest value play of the day, but it's still something, once again, I am looking to bet. All right. We're heading down to the six, or another 6 o'clock game. We have South Carolina State taking out Presbyterian. Nine-point spread. No money line yet, but that's fine. We're going to be taking South Carolina plus nine. Uh, South Carolina State plus nine. Um, my model has Presbyterian winning by four and a half points, which creates four and a half points of value on that South Carolina state line. Um, 
against Presbyterian here, which is good enough for us to make a bet on it. All right. Oh, my. We're not doing that one. Not doing that one. Next, we have our second money line pick of the day. We have Iona taking on Ryder. One and a half point spread, minus 127, run back of plus 107. And we're going to be looking to take Iona here. Um, I have them, they're projected to win by three and a half points and getting three and a half points of value on a minus 127 line. I am totally okay with that for the money line here. Uh, taking Iona money line against Ryder today. And this line has moved. All right, this one no longer of value. We're going to take Chicago State if they're at plus 17.5. But that value is now gone now that it is moved because we have them losing by 13.4 points, which is not enough value to bet Chicago State here. All right, let's keep moving down. I'm trying to find the next game here. We have a 7.30 game between Tennessee Martin taking on Southeast Missouri State. Seven points spread, minus 300 for South uh, Southeast Missouri State. Run back of plus 250. And we are looking to take Tennessee Martin plus the seven points. My model has... This being a one point one point game in favor of Southeast Missouri, which creates about five point nine points of value on this line for Tennessee Martin. So we'll be looking to take them plus a seven and maybe potentially flirt with that uh plus two fifty money line. But I don't know if I'm going to be doing pulling that trigger or not. But definitely taking the plus seven for Tennessee Martin tonight. And we have one 9 o'clock game and two 10 o'clock games to go over here. The 9 o'clock game is, uh, where is it, West Virginia taking on Iowa State. 15-point spread, minus 1,700, run back of plus 900. Uh, and we are going to, to be looking to take the plus 15 for Iowa State. My model has uh, West Virginia winning by 10.1 points. Creating 4.9 points of value on that line for Iowa State today. So that's still good enough to make a bet on it. And all they got to do is keep it within 15 points. All right, now we got our last two games of the day. We have a two 10 o'clock games. We have Air Force taking on Nevada. Uh, 12 and a half point spread, minus 950, run back of plus 670. And we're going to be looking to take Air Force plus 12 and a half. Um, they're projected in my model <clears throat> to win by 6.3 points. Giving a highest value of the slate of 6.2 points of value on Air Force tonight. That is definitely looking to be a unit and a half, maybe a two unit play for me. Uh, because that is a good amount of value for this game. And finally, we have Weber State taking on Portland State. Minus one and a half point spread, or one and a half point spread, minus 127, run back of plus 107. And we're going to be taking, we're looking to take that small dog money there, plus 107 on Weber State. Um, my model has them winning by half a point. We get some nice plus, we get a little plus money on a half a point of value. Um, I will be looking to take that as well. So let's go over uh, this. Are our plays for the slate? We have Niagara at minus one ninety, BYU at plus seven, Monmouth at plus one hundred, Howard at minus two, plus five and a half for Edwardsville, South Carolina State plus nine, Iona taking on the money line minus one twenty seven, Tennessee Martin at plus seven, Iowa State we're looking to get those fifteen points. Plus 12 and a half with Air Force and the plus 107 money line on Weber State. That is, ju that is just going to do it for this video. Um, if this information was helpful to you guys at any point, feel free to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. 
Uh, we have plenty. We have a lot of content coming out on this channel, and we want you to be notified every single time we come out with content here, so we can help you guys try to make some more money. Um, we definitely appreciate everything, all the likes and subscribes. Um, we have plenty of content coming your way uh, the next while. We have NFL, college basketball, college football, UFC, esports, WR, NBA, starting in just four days now. Uh, and uh, WNBA, NHL, and MLB coming to you guys uh, in this next few months as well. So we have plenty of content coming your way. So be sure to subscribe and hit those post notifications so you guys are notified every single time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bets. But that is going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.